This is Co-Evolution of Host and Pathogen, Myxoma virus in European rabbits in Australia, written and produced by Jenna Mominy, Caitlin Redman, and Ashley Pregar. What is co-evolution? It is a process of reciprocal selected changes in two or more species. In other words, co-evolution balances the relationship between two different species by selecting for subpopulations that have the best traits for survival and reproduction. For instance, a highly lethal virus would not survive if it killed its susceptible host too quickly. A continual supply of somewhat resistant hosts is necessary in order for the virus to remain alive longer, but this requires a change in both the host and virus populations. Coevolution is a biological mechanism that addresses this dilemma of survival. One of the greatest examples of host virus coevolution is a story of European rabbits invading Australia in the 1860s. During this time, Europe was attempting to westernize Australia by introducing non-native species that existed at manageable populations in Europe, but their survival success was unknown in the drier, desert-like climate of Australia. In 1859, Thomas Austin brought over 24 rabbits from, from Europe to Australia strictly for recreational activities such as hunting. However, the European rabbit had no natural predators in Australia and began to proliferate across the continent. By 1890, the rabbit population had reached plague-like numbers. The European rabbit quickly became an invasive species and a downright pest in Australia. The rabbits were consuming the scarce vegetation that sheep and cattle needed for grazing. Ranch land turned into wasteland and wool production was cut in half. Additionally, the rabbits damaged valuable food crops, which caused Australian farmers to become frustrated and angry. The Australian government became aware of this issue and devised a plan to stop the rabbits from spreading. In 1907, the government funded the construction of a 1,833-kilometer-long fence to prevent further rabbit migration. However, the attempt failed due to the fact that by the time the fence was finished, the rabbits had already crossed to the other side. The Australian government was at a loss. They had just spent a large sum of money producing an anti-rabbit fence that had failed to fix their problem and they were desperate for a solution. A South American researcher, Dr. Arago, had been researching the effects of a virus that he felt could help control the rabbit population in Australia. He was specifically studying the myxoma virus, a pox virus that caused myxomatosis and kept South American rabbit populations under control. However, when he proposed this idea to Australian officials, they were skeptical and worried that the virus would pose as a biological danger to the environment. The Australian government was also weary of introducing the virus because the rabbit, meat, and fur industries were thriving. However, the cattle and sheep industries were more important to the economy and the local food source. The government felt as if they should conduct a trial before introducing the virus to the entire continent. So Warding Island off the coast was utilized for the location of a small yet important experiment. In 1936, Sir Charles Martin reported that the virus was specific to rabbits and humans could not be directly infected. He then convinced the Australian government that the virus was safe to import into Australia to help control the rabbit population because the virus could only be spread via mosquitoes or rabbit-to-rabbit -rabbit contact. In 1950, the myxoma virus was introduced to Australia and myxomatosis spread through the Murray Valley in southeastern Australia. Heavy rains flooded the Murray-Darling River systems, giving mosquitoes an excellent place to reproduce. They carried the virus from infected rabbits to healthy rabbits, at times even hundreds of kilometers away. In three short years, the disease had been carried all over Australia and rabbit populations were drastically reduced. The virus was 99.9% .9 effective at killing its hosts in 6 to 10 days. In 1953, the virus had decreased to only being 95% effective. It now took 3 to 4 weeks for the virus to kill its host. Although this may seem as a disadvantage for the virus, it actually meant that mosquitoes could bite an infected rabbit and spread myxomatosis three to five times longer before the host's death. As less virulent viruses were selected for, this created room for a greater number of resistant individuals to survive. 
These rabbits that survived then gave rise to the resulting repopulation generations and thus there was a strong selection for the resistant individuals to help rebound the rabbit population. As a result, the rabbits and virus continuously exert selective pressures on one another to select for the subpopulations within each species that possess the optimal traits for survival and reproduction. This is the basis of coevolution. The decreased virulence of the myxoma virus was important for the virus to survive or else it would have completely eradicated the rabbit population and died along with its host. The selection of traits in rabbits came from those subpopulations that were resistant, and thus their resistance was prevalent in the following generations. The end. And one day, we'll find this promised land called Australia, and we shall be afraid no more! Yay! Yay!